Okay, I want to give another update. I'm on my phone camera again. I don't want to go in and get the other camera, but made the bell siphon for my aquaponics system for the bed, and it worked first try. I'm actually really excited about that. For those of you that don't know, I'll show you here what it is. Uh, I'll take this off. This is the bell, okay? That is just a one inch piece of PVC. On top, it's just a cap, it's nothing's glued. Uh, a one inch to one and a quarter inch adapter. And the bottom is the union seal. What a union seal is, that black ring down there, if you don't know, just cut the hole to a specific height, you put the union seal in, and when you put the pipe in, it creates a waterproof seal. So you don't have to use a bulk tank fitting. Underneath there, it goes down about two inches, elbows, you know, that way. And then I have it coming off over here, end of it, and then elbowing to the side. The elbow to the side isn't exactly parallel to the ground. Um, I have it up maybe only about four to five degrees, barely any. And this is the bell part of this bell siphon. It is glued on top, no hole, no nothing. And you can see how the bottom, what happens is water fills up sorry about that, up here and goes down and out. Once the water gets high enough, you know how it'll start going around and around. Once it's sealed with this on top, it creates a vacuum and it siphons it all down. These holes down here are to let the water up in and out. So, and then I will have a media guard around that, you know, a shroud to guard that. So you can see the water will go you know, up, down, up, and down, and, uh, and then it'll come out there. It starts as a trickle, and then it goes. Well, I'm going to pause this here, and then I'll continue on when it starts. You can kind of see what it's like. So, see you in a little bit. Okay, it's getting pretty close here. That's about the top where the water level is now to the PVC. There you can see it right there. It just barely started trickling out. That means it's just coming over. And you'll see it picking up here quite a bit in a second. Oh, here's... Right there. Did you hear that? That created the siphon. Right there. Uh, now what's happening is the water is going down. It's below the pipe. And through water, you know, just physics, going creating a siphon up and down. And when I was talking about my other video about, I'll have three of these, one for each of the beds. So three of these creating water, air, and the oxygen here every 15, 20 minutes. This will cycle through. And with my two Venturis on my fish tank, I might have enough oxygen. I'll, I'll measure to find out and everything. And I'm pretty excited this worked first try. Uh, th this is pretty cool. Uh, you know, in high school science, if they would have taught us this kind of stuff, and, and you guys do may know I make some homebrew and everything like that, if they would have taught us that kind of chemistry and physics stuff, I think I would have gone a little farther in school. <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah, if you're wondering what these other two hoses are, uh, I don't want the water running all over the greenhouse. I just got a little siphon going off to the side, and I got it for now, just a hose coming in, so... That's just an update on the aquaponic system on the bell siphon, what a bell siphon is. Because the media will be in here, so that's what floods and drains all the water inside the media inside here. Uh, it won't be this much of volume of water in here because the media will be taking most of that space up. But again, that's just an aquap another aquaponics update, so I hope you guys liked it.